Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is, it's different. It's very different for me. Um, I kind of just rolled with it uh, as the video went on. It is definitely a little bit more of a sultry matte vibe, um, which I love for autumn anyways. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you want to see how I did this makeup look, then just keep on watching. I'm actually going back to an old favorite foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I used to always wear the shade Tawny, but I feel like I always needed, I felt, felt like I always needed a tan with it. But I ordered the shade Wheat. It is the perfect match. I can have a little bit of tan, I can have like a full amount of tan, no tan, and I feel like it just blends into my skin. It's 3-2, or 3N2, so it's a neutral shade. Um, if you feel like you have similar skin tone to me, then you'll love it. So you can just see there it has a nice undertone to it. It's basically the lighter sister to Tawny. Um, so if you're a Tawny lover but you feel like it's just a, a tan foundation for when you put on a tan, um, I highly suggest wheat because I've been loving it. You guys know I don't love putting foundation on my forehead, but because this look is a little bit extra, I just want it to be cohesive everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> my lips are actually super dry, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of, oh, olive's been in it. <laughs> you know your toddler's been in your makeup when there's like little fingernail digs all over it? This is just a NARS uh, tinted balm. Moving on to concealer, this has become a firm fave in my makeup bag. It is the Hourglass Concealer. I think it's the Vanished Concealer. Um, it is incredible. I have the shade Cotton. It's a little bit on the pale side, um, so it is very highlighting. Oscar is a fan of it. Are you trying to do a poo? I can't even look at him because then he's like, Hi, mommy. I'm so sorry. I know this is the second, second video with baby back, background noise, but it's the only way it's going to work, people, for right now, okay? As you can clearly see, it is just a touch too pale for me. Um, I'm gonna go in, it's like anytime I start talking. Going in with my um, medium number two flawless finish powder from Charlotte Tilbury just to mute it out just a little bit and also set it in place. Looks a lot better rather than such a contrast between light and dark. Bronzer, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in number two. It has been a firm favorite as well. It is such a nice shade, love it, and I feel like I'm not gonna run out of it anytime soon. The Laura Mercier Ginger Blush. Oh, I've been reaching for this every day. It's such a pretty, like, peachy everyday shade. More of like a peachy brown nude, if that makes sense. And I like taking just a little bit and going on the bridge of my nose. I think that's such a cute little, like, oh, I'm so cold kind of look. It's really, it's really trendy. At the moment, you don't have to do it, but I just felt like doing it. And with that blush in particular, I feel like it's just the perfect amount of, you know, warmth on that bridge. Now, I'm going to curl my lashes. As you guys know, if you follow my channel, I got my eyebrows microbladed. I still have to go back to get them topped up, but the fact that I don't have to fill them in is a life-changing aspect to my makeup routine. <laughs> so um, you can go check out that video if you're curious. I'm gonna curl my lashes. This is a new lash curler I bought from Look Fantastic, um, the Japanese one, it was on sale. So I'm gonna quickly curl them and then we're gonna move on to our eyes. Whenever you curl your lashes, just shows the length. Also, Revitalash is so good. I've mentioned it in a couple videos now, but it has transformed my lashes completely and I hardly wear um, false lashes anymore. And I feel like I never have to get eyelash extensions again because my lashes are so long naturally. I haven't used an eyeshadow base in some time, but this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude in the shade Right AF. I just wanted a really clean base for my eyelids, so I'm just gonna use a very small amount to mute them out. The whole reason for this tutorial was because of this palette, the Huda Beauty khaki one. It's really inspired by the middle section here, so we're gonna play around with it. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm inspired. I'm actually gonna take um, this shade here as a transition shade just before I go into that khaki color.
Now I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It's a little bit lighter and has more of a kind of a pink undertone, but not too warm, more of a neutral pink. It's gonna fade out that desert brown that we just put on. Real star of the show is going to be between these two right here. I'm gonna go into this khaki shade with a flat shader brush. And these um, eyeshadows are very, there's a lot of fallout on them, so you have to be careful. I'm going to pack this all on my lid because I don't want it to go into my crease because I'm trying to make like a little cat eye with it. I only want to keep it on my lid and then I'll lightly bring it out so it kind of goes with what we were just doing. making sure to blend as we go it's like a regular fluffy brush so that there's no harsh lines. Now we're gonna go in with the darkest shade in the palette, which is this one here. It's like a really deep eggplant kind of shade, I would say. And I'm really just gonna stick this right at my lash line just to darken it because we're gonna put a liquid liner on, on top. So this is just gonna create the depth first. I'm also gonna put just a little bit underneath. That involved a lot of blending. We're gonna move on to eyeliner. This is a nice intense fall look. I'm gonna use the Nabla Cereal Liner. You guys know I like this liner. I haven't actually done a winged liner in a long time, so. I saw a picture of Dixie, oh, how do you say their last name? De Amelia. But she had like another little line right here. So I'm gonna do my mascara first and see what I think because my lashes have grown a lot with using Revitalash. So I'm gonna take the YSL the Shock Mascara because I want a lot of length. If I wanted a lot of volume, I would be using the NARS Climax Extreme. But I'm gonna use this one and you'll just see. I'll, I'll do one and then you can see what it looks like. This mascara is so good. Okay, what do you guys think? Should I just be risky and do like a cool little trendy eyeliner flick on the top, like where my crease is? Guys, I always play it safe. Maybe I'll just be a little risky today. So I'll say that you can leave the look here and it's still like sultry, a little bit of grunge, but like a polished, polished grunge um love those shades they're really cool for fall like love the matte look i was gonna put a little bit of the khaki sheen but i was like no let's keep it matte let's keep it matte and um, so i'm gonna do my other lashes here and then we're gonna go on the eyeliner but i'm gonna use a little angle brush first with the eggplant shade to kind of map out where i want to put the line because i'm not going to risk just freehanding it like kind of in line with my crease i would think something like that elongate my brows just to accommodate this look actually it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea I don't even know if it's my cup of tea but we did it and that's all that matters mm, let's add lips I'm gonna do iconic nude because I love it <laughs> it goes with everything Giorgio Armani lip mastro in 101 as always, these looks are not planned. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason I should start planning them, but I feel like the younger generation is so cool with their makeup. Like they're just very, they just just do it. They don't really care and I love that. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the, the random lines. It's definitely not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and I understand that, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.